Glyclozide is a medication commonly prescribed to manage type 2 diabetes. This video will explain how it works and how you should take it. As you may already know, type 2 diabetes is a condition where your body doesn't produce enough insulin or has reduced insulin sensitivity, resulting in the high blood sugars we see in diabetic patients. Glyclozide is a medication prescribed to manage type 2 diabetes. It belongs to a group of drugs called sulfonylureas. These medications increase the production of insulin by your pancreas, which in turn lowers your blood sugar. Glyclozide is only available on prescription from your doctor, and you shouldn't be purchasing it or using this medication without medical advice. What is the correct dose of glyclozide? Glyclozide is available in both standard and slow release preparations. Your dosing will be dependent on your individual needs and should be directed by your doctor or diabetic specialist nurse. Your diabetic control should be regularly monitored and your dose of glyclozide adjusted accordingly. Standard release preparations work quicker but don't last as long, meaning you may have to take them multiple times during the day. The typical dose of standard release glyclozide starts at 40 mg, taken once daily. This may be increased to 320 mg daily depending on your needs. Doses greater than 160 mg are usually given in two equally divided doses. Slow release variants take longer to work, but their effects last much longer. This means you will only need to take slow release variants once a day. The typical starting dose is 30 mg daily, increasing up to a maximum of 120 mg daily. How to take glyclozide? Glyclozide should be taken with a large glass of water and with a meal. For individuals taking glyclozide twice a day, take your medications with breakfast and evening meals. If your prescription is for once daily dosing, take your glyclozide in the morning with your breakfast. Are there any foods I should avoid? For diabetic patients, avoiding foods and drinks containing high amounts of sugar is a good idea. We want your diet to work with you, helping control your blood sugars and ensuring that the smallest dose of medication is all you need. Can I drink alcohol with this medication? It is safe to consume alcohol in moderation whilst taking glyclozide, providing your diabetes and blood sugars are well controlled. Alcohol use in people with diabetes immediately affects blood sugars, causing them to either rise or fall. A rise in blood sugar can be seen with moderate amounts of alcohol. However, excess alcohol can cause dangerous drops in your blood sugar levels. Over time, consuming too much alcohol can decrease insulin effectiveness, leading to high blood sugar levels. I've missed my dose, what should I do? If you forget to take your glyclozide, skip the missed dose. Remember to take the next dose as usual. Don't double dose to make up for a missed one. I've accidentally taken too much medication. Consuming too much glyclozide can be dangerous, resulting in low blood sugars called hyperglycemia. This can result in a serious risk to life. If you've taken too much of this medication, you should seek urgent medical attention. Are there any side effects? The main concern with glyclozide is the potential for hypoglycemic episodes. This is where your blood sugars go too low. If your blood sugar dips too low, you may feel hungry, confused, sweaty, or shaky. In the most severe hypoglycemic episodes, you may lose consciousness, and it may even be a risk to your life. Because of the risk of hypos, you will be likely asked to monitor your blood glucose levels at regular intervals whilst taking this medication. You can limit the risk of hypoglycemic episodes by ensuring that you eat three meals a day and avoid skipping those meals. Common side effects of glyclozide include abdominal pain, indigestion, nausea and vomiting, and constipation or even diarrhea. Rarely, people may experience more concerning side effects. If you experience any of the following, please consult with your doctor urgently. The yellowing of the eyes or skin, darkening of your urine, or lightening of your poo may indicate a liver injury. The development of a fever, sore throat, bleeding gums, and unusual bruising may indicate the development of a rare blood disorder called agranulocytosis. Allergic reactions are concerning as they may be life-threatening. Fortunately, life-threatening allergic reactions are rare. Those with severe allergic reactions should call emergency services for assistance. The symptoms of severe allergic reaction can include swelling of the face, lips, mouth, and throat, difficulty breathing, wheezing or chest tightness, and an allergic skin rash. Of course, this list is not exhaustive. For a complete list of side effects, please refer to the drug information leaflet that comes with your medication. I hope this video has supplied the answers you were looking for. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.